Hi, this is Awesome One. Starting with my new little skit kind of thinger, um, the cooking with bearded dragons, also known as the bearded dragon cooking show. Now, um, we're gonna cover today um, about how your bearded dragons can eat like this. Well, you saw in the beginning of my video. Anyways, sorry. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna share with you what um, bearded dragons like to eat. A little bit of a history with the bearded dragon and some facts. Just watching my mail. Okay, very fascinating animals. He's doing a mating thing. They've been mating together. <clears throat> Very exciting stuff. Um, but uh, today we're going to cover um, what bearded dragons like to eat. Um, they like to eat the similar foods um, that tortoises like to eat. So uh, if you have a tortoise, you might want to consider watching this video. Even though it's not for meant for tortoises, it's meant for bearded dragons. It's a special video, little program thing I made. So go ahead and watch it. It might be fun just to see bearded dragons in action, so hang on. Okay, I'm back. Doesn't seem like it, though. Um, well, um, what I did, um, I made a mixture of some of the required plants that need to be fed to your bearded dragon, and, uh, I kind of, um, blended them in with a blender, and, uh, makes a good kind of salad kind of meal, and, uh, turns out that bearded dragons will eat more vegetables and plant matter than insects or crickets and um when your bearded dragon is smaller or younger it will often eat more crickets so um be aware that the crickets um do not have to be fed that often three times a week you have to feed them crickets are required but the the good thing about adults you don't have to feed them as much Plus, the crickets are kind of, uh, I don't know. You got it. Ooh, big boy. I don't know if he's mating or what. I, sorry if I have those interruptions now and then. Okay. Um, you required, uh, I bet you're wondering... Sorry, just look at. Look at those two. Don't they look like they're gonna mate? He's been doing the uh, mating nods, so that's what I assumed. Back to the uh, cooking show. The required vegetables for your bearded dragon collard greens, bok choy, mustard greens, turnip greens, escarole, chicoroy, and dandelion greens. Please don't use anything with the lettuce in the name. They offer very little in the way of nutrition and can cause diarrhea. Which can dehydrate your dragon, which I'm sure people don't want their beardy dehydrated. They want them hydrated, of course. Unless they're an animal abuser. Okay. So, um, yeah, my combination of plants, I didn't cover all these, but you have to have at least some kind of a, a most of them. You know what I'm talking about, right? So, oh, oh, man, I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Well, I am very sorry about that. Okay. As you can see, I had some coll coll sorry, collard greens in there mixed with some turnip and some other stuff on the list. I think I've covered most of it. I don't really know. But um, they seem to like it. They ate and they went on to the uh, mating ritual. Yeah, so that concludes. Oh wait, no, it doesn't yet. That is part of the bearded dragon cooking show. So, uh, Again, make sure when you feed your uh, 
Bearded Dragons crickets. Um, you only feed them uh, three times a week. Adults. I'm filming with adults. With like I mentioned earlier, um, younger bearded dragons will uh, normally um, they will normally um, eat more crickets than they will vegetables. And uh, make sure you know that so you know what to feed your bearded dragon. Yeah, now uh, crickets. Crickets, crickets, chop, chop, chop. Crickets, crickets. Alright, um, with crickets, um, your bearded dragons won't, uh, eat crickets very often, again, like I said. But, it is always good to have a little kind of cricket kind of ecosystem kind of set up so maybe they can produce more crickets. You can just kind of keep them in and you can gut load. Gut load means um, you can feed them and they contain a lot of nutritiousness with their uh, body. Hard to explain. I don't want to make it too gory for the young ladies out there. Anyways, this is what a large cricket is. A small cricket is about that big. And uh, make sure that the crickets aren't too big. I, I know it's kind of uh, dumb. Like, make sure the crickets aren't too big. Well, um, if you don't want your bearded dragon to choke and die, you might as well just try to get that done. Make sure it's no bigger than their head. And, uh, so that they can safely digest it and nothing will go wrong. Okay. I will show you my cricket ecosystem over here. As you can see, you can just, as you can see, sorry, hang on a second, I hate this. I'm going to put my cricket back in. in there. Got it. All right, we got it. All right, here I have my cricket setup, my cricket keeper, consisting of toilet paper rolls and potatoes. Potatoes are the favorite food of crickets, and some place to kind of hide in um, is a job of the paper rolls. Now, it's good not to just go out to a pet store and just keep buying them constantly and maybe with the luck of well, maybe they might produce more crickets and uh, you can just kind of gut load them in here and uh, it's really a great idea people so for healthy crickets do that you know what they say a healthy cricket is a healthy bearded dragon now as far as breeding goes and the history of the bearded dragon. Um, you can definitely handle these lizards. They are probably the uh, best lizards to keep, although they do require a lot of maintenance, including baths, yes, baths. I just gave them one. Feeding, of course, the lettuce, and not lettuce, sorry, um, the collard greens, and the turnips, and uh, uh, you also need to clean out their uh, The uh, poop. Yeah, I'm just going to lay it out right there for you. You got to clean out their poop. Um, these are like dogs, these bearded dragons. They will poop in their water bowls. So if you have them pooping in your baths, that's good because you can just dump the water out and put them back in their cage. And they will be trained to do that. They will remember. These are very smart animals, very intelligent. They will remember 